So as you know, Windows 10 has applications and it has programs. An application is something that you install from the Windows Store, such as any of these. It could be any app. An application is something you install with an installer, such as Google Chrome. Now, let's say you want to uninstall a Windows app. Now, I have on my computer one app that I did install. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my start menu. And I'm going to act like this app. Um, I'm sorry, not that one. <laughs> I'm going to act like this app. Let's start with uh, Facebook. We're going to pin at the start. So we're going to create one tile here. I'm going to act like this app, like the third time for the third time is one that I installed and I no longer want. Now I can either right click on it here right from my start menu and then click on install or another option is to just type in on install and select change or remove a program and then at this point we can actually sort by different categories so if you say want to install whatever's taking up the most disk space on your computer you can actually use this sorting right here on size or maybe you want to see what you installed most recently and you can sort by that as well and so let's go ahead and see if we can locate the Facebook app on here and this is this is kind of a trick for you because what's not <clears throat> very well communicated for Windows is the fact that all of your Windows apps are not actually stored in this traditional programs and features section and so I kind of threw a curveball on here to you for a reason, because you may come here to uninstall an app and find that, wait a minute, it's not in here. That's because there's like two, there's essentially two different parts of the Windows 10 operating system, one for the tablet interface and the app store, and one for your standard desktop. So instead, I'm going to click on the start menu button and click settings. And then I'm going to scroll down to system apps and features and now we're in a completely different interface notice that and we can also sort by size if we'd like sort by name and let's scroll through here and see if we can find what we were looking for here there it is see now facebook wasn't actually under that other interface was it no it wasn't now you have the option to do advanced option here if you want to have a specific way or a specific method uh, of uninstalling it. You can also do reset, which will actually reinstall the app if you're having issues with it. But I'm going to go ahead and go through and uninstall this Facebook app. So I'm going to select it, choose uninstall, choose uninstall again, and then that will uninstall the app from my computer. Now if I click back on my start menu, notice that Facebook is gone. If I refresh it, it goes back to how it was currently set up. So, like I said, I kind of threw a curveball in there because a lot of you may get into the habit, like I did, of installing it the traditional way for installing programs. But if you want to uninstall apps, you actually have to go through the app interface under settings. And that's all there is to it.